Good morning everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So we just finished milking the girls and today is the day that they go outside. So we've got them all bedded. We bedded them before milking which is a little strange. We don't usually do that. We don't usually bed them until after milking um, just because obviously they're staying in and they'll be laying down and we want them to be nice and clean. But we did bed them beforehand just to make sure that when they go out they have nice grip under their stalls and everything so when they're stepping over the gutter they don't slip or trip or fall down or anything and we also bedded the aisle. I'll let you see that. See we bedded them. Brent did clean out the fruit stall again and he bedded that really well as well. So in theory everything should go well. As long as the girls don't get too wound they do get pretty excited and pretty rowdy leaving the barn so I'm going to be letting them out. Um, unhooking each side and Brent is going to be pushing the cows outside as I let them out just so they don't come back in and start beating on other cows which they like to do because they can be a little bit of turd head sometimes. I mean look at that face. You can just tell she can be a turd sometimes. Um, but anyway, Brent is in the milk room finishing up the wash because we want to have everything done before we go out because we want to spend some time out there watching them and making sure they're not getting too crazy out there. So we're just going to hang around here today and do some stuff Brent wants to do just to raid around here so we can be around just in case anything happens because if a cow does fall or get hit and she splits, we're going to be out there and we're going to get her up as fast as possible, get her back in the barn and make sure that all the cows are safe. Um, it is supposed to be beautiful today. It's supposed to be 61 degrees. It was only 23 degrees this morning, so that is a big change, but it already is warming up pretty fast. It's in the 50s. You guys can see it's extremely sunny. It's a little breezy, but that's just main weather lately. Um, we did put a raft bale outside just to kind of distract them from getting too crazy. We only fed them one bale in here. We fed them a second crop. I swept it in so there was absolutely nothing left. So that shouldn't stop them from going outside because sometimes if there is hay left over, they'll just stall jump and they won't go outside like they're supposed to. So I believe the plan after getting the girls out is to watch them for a while, like I said. And then we're probably going to go and cut some trees because we have a field that has some little small trees that grow on the edge and it just doesn't let in much sun. So we're probably going to be working on that and cleaning up the fields in general, picking up sticks. Like I said, we have a lot of old trees that lie in the fields and they drop a lot of sticks. So that's probably what we're going to be doing today. So we'll get these doors shut. Shut this. Watch your face. And they already know what's happening. Cows are not dumb. I forgot to mention we're not going to be letting out 40 because she's so old that she does not know how to get up or can't get up in a free stall anymore. So we won't be letting her out. We'll be closing up all the doors and letting her wander around here in the barn unhooked because that's usually how we do it for her until she can go out to pasture. Um, and we're also not going to be letting out Wendy um, just because she loves to use her horns on other cows and that's not safe for anybody. We don't want anybody else getting hurt because of her. So she won't be going outside. She's not going to be very happy about it, but she'll get over it. I know girls. No beating on each other. You understand? Be good. Especially you, Georgia. I'm talking about you. Alrighty, I'll show you guys the free stall while I'm at it. Um, we did not bed the stalls because we don't really want them to take a stall because we still haven't put chips in them yet and they're kind of low. So we would prefer it if they don't lay in a stall for now. There's Brent up there. You can see we still have some hay left from the rat bale that we gave the bull and the heifer. Brent bedded the floor really good in here. And he also bedded this area right here because when they're running outside they can slip very easily. So he puts a lot of sawdust there and you can see it's very dry out here from where we cleaned it off a couple days ago. So he put another bale out here. There is a little bit of a puddle over there, but it's not frozen or anything, so that should be fine. He pushed up some snow over there that we couldn't get the other day, and this water's thawed out, so that should be good. You guys can see the geese came back, so yay. Finally, truly spring when the geese come back. But the lake is still completely frozen, so. Alrighty, let's get those girls outside. Joy on 
down. Okay. Careful, girl. Come on. Careful. Come on. Nerve wracking, but good for them. Good girls. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Be nice. <laughs> like shaking. Which so the whole time we've been to town, we didn't get some. Did you want the electric fence turned on? It is on. It is? Yeah. No, it's not. It's not? It's not clicking. <laughs> Okay, now it's clicking. What do you think? You happy to be outside? Yeah. Oh, dirt. Yum. Don't eat it. Girl. You know. I like dirt. Emmy, you've never been outside here before, have you? How'd you get your nose bloody? Did you take a nose dive? Hi, Lily. What you doing, baby? You got a bubble that's gone. Mm. Looks like it's unscrewed. Ooh. How'd that get unscrewed? I think Clara misses being in the barn. She keeps Clara, she keeps walking back over the gate and looking in the barn. She's like, my, my house. Why? Why are you so interested in the camera? Yep, they've calmed down real well. Uh-oh. I had to say it, didn't I? It's Polly. Excuse me, please don't run over me. Hello. <laughs> Polly, what's the matter? Am I supposed to protect you? Am I supposed to protect you? See the geese? <laughs> what a dork. <laughs> Ew, thanks. Gross. No, just right. So the girls are out except for Leah um, and Wendy down here. So they're not very happy, but they are settling down. I did bed them and I finished hoeing out the barn. The barn is so quiet and it seems so strange not to have any cows in here. But I'm really glad that we let them out. By the way, before I get into anything else, I wanted to mention that we did move April over from her cage because she's just really big for her cage and she kept trying to jump out the hole. So. We didn't want her to get hurt and we wanted her to get a little bit of exercise. Eventually she will be moved down into the pen that we have that bull in right now because we will be selling him so eventually she'll get that pen to herself and have plenty of room to run around and grow and be happy. Um, so anyway Brent went in to make some breakfast and um, sandwiches I think he said and we're gonna eat and then we're gonna head out and do the rest of our stuff make sure we come back periodically to check on the girls um, which is what I'm going out to do right now. So far, so good. They still seem pretty quiet. Daisy's coming over to say hello. Seems like they're getting along really well, not picking on each other too much, so that's good. Um, you've always got that one instigator, which right now seems to be number eight. She's really picking on everybody else. Okay, so Brent is in the shop grabbing one of his many chainsaws. I think I heard him running one so he's got one running he's gonna fuel that up and he's gonna put some bar and chain oil on it i guess or something i don't know i don't run chainsaws we are going to be giving the two cows that we left in here we are going to be go getting them some hay and putting that in front of them so they have something to munch on i wanted to mention that just in case you guys thought we were letting them starve um so we're gonna do that and i brent is walking across right now so we're gonna get in the kubota and then we're gonna head right over after we feed those girls
line of trees and there's one of the dead maple trees that I was telling you guys about. That's probably the most dangerous one that we have. Still some snow over there on the edge of the field, so that's great. Let's get to work. You can't tell I've never run a chainsaw before, but I'll come. Okay, so we've got about 20 feet done. Um, I'm going to try to cut up some of this before Brent comes back because he doesn't like me using a chainsaw. So. Yeah. Okay. See it? Yeah. Where'd that go? Uh. It's this one right. It's right here. Easy to change. It's right there. Oh yeah. But that, it was leaking when it was running. It was leaking when it was running. Yeah. It must be. A... Go ahead and start her up. Ready? Yeah. So it's dripping like right through it. The skin, see the skin? Yep. It, it, it's pouring right through that skin. We might as well go change it. So we're back in the shop. Brent is out taking that load of wood uh, or brush, I guess, across to the burn pile and we're gonna probably put all our stuff there and then burn it in the late fall, maybe when it's raining someday, something like that. Uh, but anyway, we had kind of a hitch in our plans because the Kubota started leaking a hose on the back um, that runs up to the front loader is leaking pretty bad, so we're gonna have to change that. It's leaking underneath the skin because you can't be leaking hydraulic oil nowadays when it costs like $120 a pail. So he's coming back right now. We're gonna try to get that off and then he's gonna run over and get a hose and maybe we'll get back to cutting wood today. I don't know. We just checked on the girls and they're still doing really well outside and they're just super happy. It's great to see them outside and enjoying themselves. So you can see we got the spreaders up here ready to go. If this weather hangs on and the fields dry out, we should be getting going anytime here. But yeah, naturally you're trying to do something and it just never works out that way. I think we only got like 25 feet um, first time I've ever run a chainsaw, by the way, you could probably tell because I was standing like it was going to jump back and bite me, but, um, never done it before, so I was super excited to get to do that, so. Get her done. What do we need? Need a... 
Okay. Inch and an eighth. Inch and a sixteenth. Oh, I think we could. Oh, I think we could cut that off, put another end on, save a bundle of money. It's long enough to reach. Yeah, if you if you just take it on one of those, you know, loops. Yeah. Just don't use one of them. It's true. That would save you a lot of money. You would. I don't remember the last time we changed a hose. Was it like two years ago? Yeah, we never. We need to change one of the loader ones, right? Yeah. So we got the hose off, we took the protective thing off just so we could keep that and put it on the next hose that we get. Because that probably helps a lot considering that it goes under there and rubs against a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of other hoses and a bunch of crap in there that it rubs on. So we got that off and Brent is going to go get a new hose made for it because it was cracked pretty far back so we don't think we can cut it off and try to put a new fitting on it because I don't think it'll be long enough after that. But um, hopefully that'll be the only problem we run into today um, and hopefully the store actually has the right fittings for that. I'm gonna go check on the girls one last time, make sure they're all right. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down below, and hit that notification bell so you know when any new videos are being posted. Keep it real, keep farming, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!